everybody. I hope you guys had a wonderful Memorial Weekend. Um, I celebrated my weekend remembering my father, um, who served 32 years in the military, and um, also my father-in-law and many of the people who've passed um, this year in the storms and in Japan and um, over here with the tornadoes and everything, and all the people who are overseas, um, all the troops who give their lives every day for us. Um, I celebrated you guys all yesterday, and the many of us who will never know a loved one or someone else's loved one who's also passed away. Um, I thought of you, and I lit a candle for all of you guys yesterday. So yeah, I just wanted to say that first. So even though we've celebrated lives of people who aren't here anymore, uh, we celebrate their life. You know, we don't focus on their death, we focus on their life and what they meant to us and what they have done and how much they are missed. So yeah. Um, anyhow, this video um, is about my straight hair. If you see today, I had my hair straight. It's been a very long time since I had my hair straight. Um, the only reason why it's straight is for two reasons. I told you guys I prefer my hair curly, which is true. But I do blow dry my hair straight when I want to see how much growth I have gotten to see, you know, how quick my hair is growing because I know how fast my hair can grow. Um, and on top of that, it's time for me to get my roots done. I have some new growth, so I don't want to let it get go too far like I did last time. I waited five months and it kind of, even though my hair is still high to, highlighted up in here, you kind of have to really see my hair. Um, but if you see from a distance, it doesn't look like it. It's because um, when I went back and had my um, highlights done, I went so long. I went all the way down here, and all this is a lot lighter. So, yeah. Um, so this time, I'm not going to get this highlight because I still have some highlights up there. But what I'm going to do is get my base roots um, dyed. Um, and then um, the next time I come, I'm going to get them highlighted. And she's going to blend them in more with the color down here because as over time as you know highlights as they get old it becomes like almost one color and so eventually um, I'm thinking about um, in the fall I'll probably go and um, get a base color again which is a chocolate brown which I have now and then it was followed by um, um, blonde highlights and some low lights and I'll just get them redone again um, being that, for once, I actually stuck with the hair color. I normally don't stick with the hair color very long. I get very, very bored, but I just don't want to damage my hair and um, any worse. You know, not that my hair is actually damaged. I take really, really good care of my hair because I'm no longer doing my own color anymore. So, yeah, I suggest that. Um, sometimes we all always can't afford to go get um, our hair done. So we, what we do is we do the box. Um, I would I would say then if you're not really ready to get your hair dyed or I would suggest um, just waiting to get your hair, your color done unless it's something simple like a one solid color um, but when you're doing highlights on your own it's not really a good idea which that's what I was trying to do and the only reason why I do highlights is because I am older um, many people think I'm younger but I will be 41 in another 27 days yeah so yeah so you know of course with time you know you, you get a little gray here and there so of course I don't want my grayness I'm not ready yet <laughs> it'll be a long time and I don't think I'll ever be that kind of girl not that I, I have a problem with people being gray because it looks nice on some people but it, just for me I just like color I may change as I get older but you know for now I'm still young you know and I just don't want it that's just my preference um Anyhow, so um, those are the reasons why I have straightened my hair, and if you notice, um, from two and a half months ago, if you look back at my video, I have gotten some new growth. I got a good, right here, I measured two and a half inches, yay. Um, my hair could be growing faster for two and a half months, um, just seem like I'm not really getting, I may be getting a, a little over an inch in some centimeters probably but not as much as I could be I used to at least grow two two inches of um, hair growth but that's when I was mostly I was I was 
I'm training hard still, but I'm not taking whey anymore. I noticed though, I have to say with whey protein, with all the amino acids, because hair is nothing more than protein, carotene. So, um, hair is nothing more than protein, and because it's protein, that's why it's really suggested to make sure you're eating healthy, having your proteins and your fiber and your veggies and all that stuff. So you have a balanced, healthy meal. It does, it does really make a difference with hair growth and your nails and everything. So, um, with whey protein, at least the ones that the one that I usually take, it has a lot of amino acids. Um, it also has um, vitamins and nutrients in it as well. So I'm getting a lot of vitamins. So if I'm not getting um, my vitamins through um, just taking them myself, um, my supplements really do um, encourage me um, hair growth, skin health, and nail health. So. Yeah, that's the cool thing, but I kind of been slacking because, like, um, I'm now a homeowner. Yay. That's what I've been doing all weekend. I'm so tired. I've been running around. I'm still in my um, condo, so I'm kind of back and forth. I have two places right now, so I'm kind of really, really busy. So I haven't really been taking care of myself. I have been training, but I think I could be, um, I could be taking more protein. Um, so, yeah. I noticed... Um, Back in 2004 and 5, I started off with I started with this hair length curly, and by the second year I was down here, and by the third year my hair literally was pretty much to the middle, um, past the middle of my back, almost to my waist, and um, that's just because I I always wear curly. You would hardly ever see me with my hair straight. The only time you really saw me with my hair straight, period, was when my hair um, length got to the middle of my back. And then because it was long, I did wear it straight. I wore it as an option. But it's never an option when it's at this length because my goal is to get it back long again. So yeah. So I just wanted to say that um, to you um, girls and give you a quick update on my hair for those that are following me. Um, if you are thinking of getting a bob cut, you might want to think about it unless you're getting a one length bob. And the reason why is it's really cute and it's very trendy and it's kind of not as popular right now. Um, I think um, you're starting to see more of this type of bob if you're seeing bobs like the one way. Um, I had an asymmetrical bob and it was stacked in the back and it was real cute. Um, it was I started off with the Victoria backhand bob and then, um, well I shouldn't say that. I started off with a, like a layered bob with the sides what bang to here a year and a half ago and to my chin and then as time went on I grew it out a little bit just to cut it short again and I was just kind of having fun with it and I did the Victoria Beckham bob once I was able to get my bang down to here and then this was shorter up in there it was really cute and I got in fact more people prefer me with shorter hair than this longer hair but to be honest with you, I love long hair. I've always loved long hair. I love the fact that we can do so much more with long hair. Um, I miss my ponytails. I miss wearing my baseball caps. I refuse to wear a baseball cap with this short hair. Um, I just miss my braids and just things like that that I've done. So just fun stuff. But um, yeah, so I just wanted to take time and um, let you guys see my hair grow. And if you want to see the difference, um, definitely check out my older videos. Um, so yeah. It's pretty cool. It's very silky right now. And I'm going to do another video right after this. I just don't want to combine them into one video because it will be extremely long. And I know my attention span, a lot of the times my videos are long or very short, so um, I'm going to do another video. I'm going to say goodbye in this video now so that you guys can watch and see what it is that I, what how, how I get my curly hair straight like this, okay? And what products that I use. Thank you, and if you don't come back to my next video, thank you for even taking the time out to watch this video. And if you have time, um, check out my blog. It's always listed at the bottom. And I'll see you in my next video. Until next time.